This is an early 2015 13 inch MacBook Air. And it won't turn on. Eventually. Although I find it funny that when you plug in the charger to the MacBook, the light of the head adapter comes up. On the bright side, it works. On the dark side, it still won't turn on. Which means it needs to be checked out and to see if it needs any repairs. And that's what I'm gonna show you for today. Just a couple things. One, the repairing part is what I'm willing to do. Though I'm not an electrician, I'm also into the vibe of electronic devices as I kind of knew a bit of how I repair them easily. Whatever's in front of the device board and whatever is in front of me. Oh, oh man. Oh, I thought it was a goner. Again. And once I do that, I can't be sure to guarantee if it'll work properly after replacing one of the parts newly, but I'll give it a shot anyway. Otherwise, I'll have to come up with another solution. I wonder how well this is gonna go. I doubt it. Two, this may resemble your memories as we jump into the Apple Watch review video last year, yesterday. And I'm sorry that I have to bring the MacBook video belatedly, as I always do a Thursday thing which was done exactly last year. And I wouldn't mention that Thursday a National Serial Day because that's not what it's all about here. But I don't see how I came to the occasion of it. Small world and one spoonful. That makes it a bowl of 24 to 30 small world spoons entirely. Looking back, the Apple Watch video gave me great pleasure on what's like to have a smartwatch on your wrist. With everything I need accessed within, everywhere I go, every day, without changing a small pill-shaped battery on a normal watch. All in one device on my wrist. And despite the brand I usually represent, I have decided to revisit the past by bringing you another Apple device, the MacBook Air, which will be a perfect example to regain hope of bringing it back to its shape again. Which also comes to the idea of this kind of hope. Not only a couple things, but third, another laptop which is malfunctioned while you currently edit videos with the other laptop. Why? Well, apparently, this is my sister's laptop. Or was my sister's laptop. And she has a newer MacBook Air, which looks stealthy. Man, I wish I had owned one of those. But said and done, and in that case, if I repair this phenomenal machine to full power, working, it'll be rewarded as my MacBook Air to own. Other than this plastic PC that I have to keep dealing with, determining quality at its own terms. So I'm just gonna get right into the repair. And I've already knew that daylight always gets so noisy most of the time. So instead, I've waited until night comes. And I'm no magician, as I don't want you to wait longer for the sun to get down. Now, before I get started on demonstrating the procedures of on turning methods and repairing methods, do you really like my new casters of my mint vintage office chair? Well, I bought them from Amazon, and I thought I got them in the right size, which I haven't. I got them with the fitting a bit bigger than the old skitty ruckus. So with no choice, I have to demand myself to drill metal and plastic and find something to give it a hard push to fit it in. And this goes to all five casters to customize. And it took me ages to get it smoother and quieter, as you can see. So next time, when you're about to order caster wheels or any other parts to replace with, make sure you get them in the right size to actual objects that varies at your needs. Okay then, let's get into the full repair with the early 2015 13-inch MacBook Air. So here I have in front of me is a 13-inch MacBook Air, early 2015 version. 
And as you can see, it's uh, it won't be able to turn on. Even the first piece of advice is to press the power button for 10 to 30 seconds and see if it will be able to turn on. It didn't work. Maybe the solution could be uh, the power cable, the, the charger. Somehow you just get, you just gotta be sure that the, eventually the, the wire works. As you can see, the wire works. If it doesn't work, it may be because you might as well clean the inside of the charger and the, and the other part of the charger, the adapter, the head adapter, so that you'll be able to get a, get a clean passage of charging. So once I plug this up, I just press the power button for 10 seconds, see if it works well. Four seconds away, looks like it's not doing anything at this time. Nothing. So I unplug the, the charger. The next thing I'm gonna do is to press uh, the power button for 10 seconds and then release and then plug the charger while you press the power button at the same time for 60 seconds. So, okay, so let go, plug in and then press the power button at the same time. Just so you know, I got these kind of methods from uh, YouTube videos that uh, eventually might work for anyone else who had like a MacBook Air problem somehow trying to turn it on and you end up with a black screen as you can see. So with that 60 seconds done, looks like nothing have happened. So the only issue is it might be the battery. Okay, close the MacBook. Let's flip it around. And the main thing we're gonna do about this is that we're gonna unscrew the cover, as you can see that each end, each edge, edge at every end has a screw to unscrew the cover. Just like this. Once you have this screwdriver, you can be able to unscrew the cover to seek in through the battery or maybe the memory chip, or say the memory board they call it. There are 10 screws, by the way, so make sure you don't lose them. Even the parts when you're about to replace, don't lose those screws. There are two long ones. I just realized there are two long ones on top. And then there are like eight small ones and it surrounding, surrounding the cover. Last one. There we go. Put them all together so you, so you know which one's which, especially the two long ones are for the top. And let's open this baby up. And there you go. As you can see here, the battery, and this is the battery. All you have to do this time, just carefully unplug it to seek in that the plugging sequence, that the plugging method is fully plugged in. It's best to unplug it and then plug it back in. Okay, it's plugged back in carefully. Another thing could be the screen plug right here. All you have to do is uh, Carefully flip the, the lock to unlock the, the plugging and then release the, the the screen wire and then plug it back in to ensure, like I said, to ensure that the plugging method is fully plugged in. Fully slide it down in, then flip the lever down. Then the last thing could be uh, the memory boards when it won't be able to run properly. I'm correct, I should be able to get the my screw. Actually, maybe maybe the wrong one. I'm, I'm gonna have to need another screwdriver. Just, I might save that for later, but by all means, I just have to make sure. Here it is. The special screw for the memory board. All you have to do is carefully slide it to one side. You might as well grab it, not bend it too much. Okay, just like that. There you go. Ensure that the plug-in method is fully plugged in. Hold on, you just slide down, push down as well. Ah. Hope I didn't 
snap it and screw it and screw it back to its position. It's my day, by the way. I mean, I'm trying to get try to put it back the way it is precisely. You can either do that or you have some parts to replace, especially the, the memory board. You can replace that too. Also the battery, if you have the battery to replace, you know. By all means, I'm just gonna have to end it here. By all means, if I be able to get that fixed soon, I'll give you the result at the end. I mean, for this video, it's kind of like a refre refreshing the power method at this point. Okay, I wouldn't call that a full repair. It's just a full demonstration of powering up the MacBook Air when it won't turn on. And that's also because I've only done the demonstration that early midnight before the upload at the same day. And I'm doing all and whatever I can to put everything together before deadline. So I'm going to have to do this insignificant strategized repair method at a kind of pace that I'll have to do the repair part out of hand. But tune in as I'll show you a little bit of the next video on how successful or not is the battery or memory board or any other diagnosis will be replaced in the meantime and hopefully being back to function again. But for now, if you have any other difficulty on these kind of procedures that wouldn't be able to work for you, I recommend you the PC repair shop. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos like this.